I will give you a very easy tips and tricks how the botanical names remember because the botanical names are the names given to the plants. Why we write the botanical names? Why we remember the botanical names? Because they are written in a Latin language. Latin language is a not a language of any country. It is free from political imbalance. So the Latin language, it is important to learn the meanings of Latin language and to easily remember the botanical names. Botanical names are assigned to the plants based on characters. These characters are important to learn. These characters are important to remember. Sometimes the botanical names are given to the plants based on morphology, based on colors, based on origin of the plants and based on utilization of the plants. If we use the colors of the plants, then the botanical names are easily learned and remembered. For example, Rosa Elba. When we write about the Elba, albinism, album meaning white. So the album is a white color. So Rosa Elba means a white rose. Similarly, we use a name Morris Elba. Morris Elba is a white mulberry. Elba means white. Sometimes we use a black color that is called as uh, Nigram, Nigra, Nigrancis. For example, Solum Nigram is a nightshade plant. Why we call it Solum Nigram? Because Solum Nigram plant contains the blackish fruit. So this is the word that we use, we remember is a Nigram. Similarly, Amaranthus viridus means green. Viridus means green, so the whole inflorescence of the amaranth plant is a greenish in color. At the same time, we use the word chrysanth. Chrysanth means yellowish. Chrysanthemum I mean indicum means yellowish plant. For example, a red plant that is erythroxylum coca. Erythros means red. So we use the word erythros. Sometimes we use our word rubra is also for reddish color. For example, Pumeria rubra, where the flowers are reddish in color. Similarly, for the golden color, we use the word aria, ariensis, or arium. For example, the plant Procosmia aria, where the golden flowers. Aria is a word in Latin that is assigned to the golden colors. In many cases, the botanical names are based on the origin of the plants. For example, Rosa Indica. Indica, Indica means originated from India. Similarly, the plant Ficus bengalensis, that is a fake plant which originated from Bangladesh. So, Bengal or Bangladesh, this is called as the Ficus bengalensis. For example, Coniza canadensis, the plant Coniza that is originated from Canada. And sometimes the plant that is originated from eastern world, that is for example, Tetanus orientalis. Oriental, oriental, this means eastern origin. Sometimes the plants originated from the western world, that is called as occidental. For example, Cassia occidental. There are many plants which have a plant names originated from the different countries. For example, Iriobotria japonica, that's the botanical name of Locard, that is originated from Japan, that is Japonica. Same way, Iris Kashmiriensis, that is the iris plant originated from Kashmir. So this is called as Iris Kashmiriensis. For example, Barbaris Glochistaidica, where the Barbaris originated from Glochistan. Similarly, the plant Centella Asiatica, where the Centella is originated from Asia, Asian countries, so that's called Centella Asiatica. Similarly, the gum plant, that is Acacia Arabica, which is originated from Arab countries, that is the Middle East. Another important plant that is originated from Africa that is called as Malcomia Africana where we use the word Africanum Africana that is the plant originated from Africa. Olive plant is originated from Europe so that is the name is Olea Europea. Europea means that is originated from Europe. Another example is the Moriah Exotica. Exotica means the plant that is originated outside the region. In many cases the botanical names are written based on their life form, habit, and their morphology. How the plants look like. For example, Calotropis gigantea. Gigantea means a bigger trunk. So the gigantea is a word that is used for a larger or bigger trunk. There are so many plants that are based on their life form, habit. For example, Elianthus annuus. Annuus is a word that is used for the plant which have a life cycle is an annual that is grow for a single season. Elianthus annuus is a sunflower where we use the annuus word for the single growth season. For example, Euphoria prostrata where the habit is a prostate that is a creeping plant. Some flowers bloom in the night time. They separate a smell or scent 
in the night so they are called as nocturnal or nocturnal species that is system nocturnum where the flowers bloom in the daytime that is called as diurnum system diurnum the plant which blooms in the daytime while the system nocturnum that blooms during the night time Sometimes the plant position is also based on the botanical name. For example, if the plant is erect, that is called as an erect plant, so we use the word erecta or erectensis. For example, Burhavia erecta. When the plants are climbing, that their habit is a climbing, so we use the word scandex. For example, scandex pectan veneris, the plant that is a climber. Sometimes it is a creeper that is a structure that is laid on a lead or soil that is creeping. This is called as prostata. For example, Euphorbia prostata. In many cases, the botanical names are written on their habitat where the plant is found. For example, if the plant is distributed or found on a lead ecosystem, that is called as prestes. For example, Tribula prestes, that is the plant that is found or distributed on a lead. If the plant is found in the water or uh, near to the water, that is called as aquatica. For example, Veronica aquatica. If the plant is found in a mountainous region, that is a high altitude, we use the word alpinus. For example, Aster alpinus, that is a plant found in an alpine region. Similarly, we use the word montana, that is also found to the habitat that is found in the hilly area, the mountain region. For example, Quercus montana. Quercus montana means the Quercus, that is a plant which is found in the mountain region. Sometimes the botanical names are linked to the religions, that is the religion affairs. For example, Ficus religiosa. Ficus religiosa is a plant that is commonly found in Indo Park subcontinent, which is commonly used by the religion peoples in Muslim communities and among the Hindu communities. So we should use the word religiosa, the Ficus religiosa. In many cases, there are different plants that are given the names based on their mode of cultivation. If the plants are cultivated for food, for medicine, for health, we use the word styva, styva. For example, oriza styva, that is a cultivated rice. Another example for styva, styva means avena styva, that is the old plant cultivation, that is the old plant is cultivated. Similarly, triticum astivum, astivum means also use a word that is under cultivation. In many cases, the botanical names are written on the basis of their utilization. If the plant is more frequently used for edible purposes, for other purposes, we use the word edulus or edulum or edulus. For example, uh, uh, linum uc tatissimum. Uc tatissimum is the word that is the most useful. Similarly, bitula utilus. Why we call it utilus? Because it's the most useful plant for paper industry. Because the bitula utilus bark is used to backing the paper. Similarly, the cypress papyrus. Papyrus is the word that originates from cypress plant, means the plant which is used to prepare the paper, that is called as papyrus. Sometimes we use the word edulus. Edulus means edible, which is used for edible purposes. For example, Passiflora edulus, where the Passiflora fruits are most useful or edible. Similarly, Abel Mascus esculentum. Esculentum is also a word that is parallel or a synonym to edulus. Esculentum means most useful or edible. Abel Mascus esculentum is a name for the lady's finger that is edible. Most important character is the morphology. That is the external future of the plant. There are a number of the plants that are based on the morphology of the plant. For example, ficus microphylla. Micro means small, phyll means leaves. The microphylla meaning the plant which contains a smaller size in leaves. Similarly, ficus macrophylla, the fig which contains a larger leaves. So the micro for smaller and macro for large. Sometimes we use the word multi, uni. These are the words that is linked to the number of the flowers, number of the leaves. When we use a multiflora, mean uh, the plant which contains a number of flowers. When we say a uniflora, mean the plant that contains a single flower. For example, Tephrosia uniflora. Tephrosia is the plant where the single flower. Sometimes uh, the names are written on different types of the leaves. That is called as a heterophily. Heterophily is the types of the different types of the leaves. For example, Echonitum atrophila, where the plant Echonitum contains different types of the leaves. We use the word atrophila, Echonitum atrophila. Sometimes the leaves are smaller in size. We use the word microphila, that is Ficus microphila, Ficus macrophila, where the leaves are larger in size. When the leaves are alternate arrangement, that is called as alternanthera, 
alter the thira means where the leaves are alternate in length sometimes the leaves are arranged in a spiral manner we use the word spiral and sit spiral arrangement of the leaves characters are similar to different shapes for example if the leaves flower seeds are similar to egg shape we use the word oveta ovetensis oveta is a word that is assigned to the egg shape morphology sometimes the leaves the flower the seeds are heart shape we use the word cardata or cardifolia cardata cardensis sometimes the leaves the seeds the roots the fruits are similar to the liver shape we use the word hepatica sometimes the morphology of the plant is a kidney shape we use the word rainy farm rainy folia rainy cardata so the shape is just like a kidney shape sometimes the tooth margins of the leaves the leaves contain tooth margin we use the word dentata dentatus for example alternate thera dentata similarly when the leaves are sessile that's without petiole without stalk we use the word sessile that is alternate thera sessilis sessilis mean the leaves without stalk sometimes we use the word officinal officinal is the word that is linked to the Uh, registered registered by the government registered by the local communities for the cultivation of the drugs that the plant that is cultivated for the drug discovery that is extraction of the drugs for example terexecom officinale for example salvia officinalis the salvia plant is more commonly used to prepare the drugs terexecom is more commonly used to prepare the drugs so we use the word officinale officinale sometimes the fruit taste the flower taste the seed taste is very delicious so we use the word deliciosa for example monstera deliciosa where the fruit the taste is a similar to the jackfruit or a pine apple in many cases the botanical names are written on the medicinal juices when the plants are commonly used for the medicinal purposes if we prepare the drugs we get the medicine from the plants we use the word emodai emodai means medicine for example pionia emodai pioni plant is the pionia emodai we were called emodai because the medicines are extracted from this plant similarly podophyllum emodai emodai means medicine sometimes you hear about the botanical names written on a author written on a personality are the scientists who give the names to the plant for example pinus roxbergii roxbergii is the scientist or the botanist who assigned the pine plant pinus roxbergii bohemia virgata bohemia bohen is the scientist who gave a names to the kachna plant that is bohemia virgata why we call virgata because the leaves the flowers contain virgated spots in many cases the distinct characters are the basis for botanical names for example when there is a spines there is a kinds on the morphology of the plants either on spines on the leaves spines on the stem we use the word spinosa spinosa for example capris spinosa the caper plant because it contains spines so we call capris spinosa uh, similarly the uh, type of the plant that is prunus spinosa that is the plant which contains spines this is called as prunus spinosa plants are have a strong aroma that is aromatic compound phenolic compound when we smell the plants there is a strong aroma they will use the word arbatum aromaticum for example xanthoxylum arbatum moraya conegae so these are the words arbatum arbatica means aroma so in this episode i give you a lot of examples how we remember the botanical names it is learning the botanical name it is important to learn the meanings of the latin words what are the meanings of the latin language then it is easy way to learn these botanical names and every day you do a practice how to learn the botanical name how to remember the character if you remember the character you learn the botanical name if you remember the meanings of latin you learn the botanical name for these practice is very important practice make the man perfect either you learn the botanical names or you learn the morphology of the